Be kind. Do good. Welcome to Lighthearted Life and Collectibles. Hello, everyone. We have Reborn Toddler Everly and Reborn Baby Gemma. And they're going to be getting changed into these cute little outfits and getting their ears pierced today. So Gemma is going to be wearing this beautiful little dress. It's made by Bonnie Baby. And it is a cream and pink color with lace at the top and this pretty pink flower with pink ribbons that are around the waist. And then I'm going to put this headband on her that's got a cream colored band and flower with little pearls and diamonds. And she's going to wear these white sandals, even though like white and cream, I don't know. I mean, there is some white mixed in with the cream just a little bit. So we're going to make it work because Gemma doesn't have a lot of sandals. So, um, and then Everly is going to be wearing this cute little two piece set. It's from a brand called Between Baby and it's a size 12 months. I think it's going to fit her really good because it's a little short tutu style dress with little butterfly sleeves that are made out of tulle. And it has a butterfly on the chest. It's yellow and white. And the skirt is sparkly, has sparkly tulle. And then it has these little yellow bloomers that go underneath. So Everly's going to be wearing that. And it's not going to be just your typical changing video. Oh, and by the way, this little outfit that I got for Everly was on clearance for $3. So, you know me. I'm always finding those bargains. So, yeah. Let's get these girls into their outfits, but we're going to do it a little different than usual. First, we're going to start with Gemma. Silly Gemma, those don't go on your hands. Those sandals are for your feet. So lovely. Now it's time for Everly to get her outfit on. Oh, good job, Everly. But we need to swap your shoes from one side to the other. So let's get your sister and now it's time to pierce your ears. Look at these two little girly girls together. Aren't they cute? Everly and Gemma. So I'm going to bring the camera a little closer and then I'm going to show you their earrings that they're going to be getting their ears pierced with. Now with Everly, she already has on this cute pearl bracelet. So, she wants some pearl earrings. So, I'm going to let her have these little pearl ones right here. And Gemma, she's going to get these teeny tiny diamond earrings. Because she's already got some little diamonds in her headband too. Alright, let's do Everly first. Are you brave, Everly? Are you gonna cry? I still don't know why I have never pierced her ears. I mean, I have had her for, it'll be four years in November, and I haven't pierced her ears. <laughs> and that's usually one of the first things I do with my baby girls is pierce their ears. She does have a bit of an earlobe, so, I don't know if I should leave it to where I can put the back on because it has these little protective backs. You probably can't see it because it won't focus. So to make it easy for it to go through, I'm going to use this diaper pin to poke my initial hole. Now the first hole is easy because it's just going where it's going. Now, I finally got it through there. So, now all I gotta do is find the hole <laughs> with my earring. I think I see it. 
And there we go, we went all the way through. And now all we have to do is get our back on there. See, that's how our earring came through. And if you wanted to, you could just leave it like that. So there we go. The back is on there. So now her vinyl is protected on the back. And like I said, if you were if you were to put it like this way and point it inward, um, it would like actually be going in toward the head. But I left hers like that. Isn't that weird? Her ear looks a little bit red now. <laughs> like it would yeah. in real life. We've got to make sure we line up the sides because we want her little earrings to match as much as possible and I'm gonna say that this is the same spot that we have it in over there and we're gonna poke this through in the same direction And you'll feel it when it pops through. And you just have to refine your hole with your earring and poke it on through. There we go. It will take a little pressure, so don't feel bad about poking it through there. Um, you're going to feel like you're poking it too hard or whatever, but it's okay. Just go ahead and poke it. I mean, she's they're not real babies, so they're not going to feel it. I'm going to pause while I get this back on here. Okay, there we go. Now she's got the back on that earring. So now her ears are pierced. She's got her little pearls. And they look so cute. So there we go. There's Everly. Next we're going to do Gemma. Doesn't she look cute? She loves her earrings. Don't you, Everly? She's like, finally, Mommy. Finally, you pierced my ears after all this time. <laughs> now here we go with little Miss Gemma. Hopefully she'll be just as uh, compliant. <laughs> And since she's a, you know, fake baby, I'm pretty sure we'll be successful. She has some great earlobes that are, like, sticking out from her head. So, we will have no issue whatsoever getting the back on her earrings at all. So, like I said, you're going to have to put that pressure on there. And that's okay. See, that's all the way through. And I'm going to do the little bitty diamonds. And y'all, you can hear my puppy. She's outside the door and bless her heart. She just doesn't understand why she can't be with me 24 seven. <laughs> there we go. It may not, she may not even need the back now. No, I don't even think she needs the back now the way I have it. I mean, it's coming out the back just a little, but that's okay. I would not do this for a small child's doll. I would not pierce their ears like this. I would suggest if you had a little girl that wanted her doll's ears pierced, that maybe you buy those little stickers, you know, that kind of look like little gems to put on their ears. Because, I don't know. I mean, if you were an older child, sure. But a younger kid, which I wouldn't buy a reborn for a younger kid. I know a lot of people don't understand this. They're like, they're dolls. But, yeah, they're, they're not for younger, the younger generation. All right, I think I got this in the same spot. So I'm gonna try to poke, just like I did over there. Like I said, you had to put pressure and that's okay. You're not gonna hurt anything. All right, so let's get her little earring. And you just line it up with your hole. You want to do it in good lighting. That way you can see your hole. And there you go. All done. Gemma's all done. Not a tear in sight. I got some tough baby girls, y'all. They're tough like their mama. 
but there she is and I think she looks so cute with her ears pierced oh my goodness so there's both of my girls with their ears pierced love it love it love it they look so cute and Gemma bless her heart she always wants to look up I think it's because most of her weight may be in the back of her head. So I need to order some more small zip ties so I can take her apart again and uh, see if I can readjust that because it feels like the back of her head is really heavy. And we'll just resituate her weight. All right, there they are, y'all, in their cute little outfits with their pierced ears. I'll show you their ears one more time, close up. So, Everly's got her little pearls, and Gemma's got her little diamonds. Well, that's all for this video. I'll see you in my next one. And until then, remember to always be kind, do good. This has been Lighthearted Life and Collectibles.